Hey, I thought you went to Siesteles. She must have been exhausted today. I didn't want to wake her up. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <coughs> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. Barrier Blastia has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. saying? You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Yeah. Come on, we're going to.
You can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Estelise. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing art so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerr Bakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to... Maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's alright. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... But how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here! What's going on? Huh? Ah! What was that thing? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. 
Hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all going to do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then! Doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I. Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations, and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider their connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um... Then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded, I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right then! It's the Forest of Cave Mock by way of Dongrest! I have a job for you. What do you think that scary monster we saw in Kerr Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again.
I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the nights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way he's something of a symbol for the nights. Many who are in the nights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear, I don't have much in common with him. Estelle, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Wait! What's the matter? Could you repeat what you just said? I said, there's something I want to ask you. No, before that! Estelle? Yes, you finally called me Estelle! I've got to go tell everyone! Oh, well... <laughs>
Honestly, that girl... Huh? Estelle. She rushes off regardless of danger. She doesn't listen when you tell her to stop. So Estelise has finally become Estelle, huh? I I've been calling her that for a while. What's with you anyway? Hey, you know, your tone of voice was different just then. Maybe it's just my imagination. You're damn right it is. Ah, there's the Rita we all know and love. Ha! Ow! How about you just shut up? Who cares what I say or how I sound? Not me. Here's to you being you, Rita. Hmm. Someone's here. Traces left behind by the flow of air. But where is it flowing? That monster sucked all of it up. Monster? Yeah, that big, rough, spiky, huge monster! So, he was here after all. He? You mean the monster? Monster. It matters not what humans call them. But such a name does them a disservice. wasn't a monster? Just what makes something a monster anyway? We call any creature that viciously attacks humans a monster. 
So that would mean that thing's a monster, right? Huh. But the kid just gave us the human point of view. You mean we just lump them all together as monsters, but there might be more to it? What do you think that guy was up to? We met him earlier at Dayton Hole, didn't we, Yuri? I can't figure him out. Well, whatever. He's got nothing to do with us anyway. Yeah, I guess. Let's get this over with. Man, I was just... Sorry if I hurt you. Yeah. I Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. No That'll be a hundred. Guess we can do this. Man, I was just... This is Dongrest, my hometown! Looks like a pretty lively place. Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah! Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, 
How should we go about tracking down Barbos? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union. A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah. The Union also serves as the city's government. But how is this gonna work? Isn't Barbos' Blood Alliance one of the five Master Guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altosk, the most powerful of the five Master Guilds. All right, let's go see what the Dawn has to say then. You know the way, right, Carol? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town. Doing? What? Uh, n nothing. Hmm? Well, well, if it ain't little Carol. What the hell are you thinking coming back here? Hey! What's with you? Yeah, I don't see Nan. She already did you? <laughs> no way! She wouldn't stop nagging, so I took off. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Are these your friends, Carol? You could do a lot better than these losers. W what did you say? Such undignified men! Shut up! You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... Yeah, you just keep talking. What's that sound? Damn it! They're back again! Come on! The alarm! Monsters are here! Monsters? Wait, is this shaking the monsters' footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong, and it's never been broken before. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh, crap! The barrier... disappeared? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it, why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters!
monsters coming from? Something isn't right! Doesn't something seem different about the monsters as well? Here they come! There's more coming. Why are there so many? Damn it! It's just one right after the other! Let's work to together! things. failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? How could they 
do that? Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier Blastia going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the? This is an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Emmed Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city! Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongress, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding! This city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. Hmm? Who are you all? We need to talk to the Don about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the five master guilds. I haven't seen you around here recently. What guild do you belong to? We don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Don has left town in pursuit of the monsters. He went after the monsters? Yes. He plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Don. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle's going along with you? Yes, I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <clears throat> nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you.
to think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn Grest? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's alright? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right. I had no idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful! There's somebody here. Hey, what a coincidence! What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? <laughs> I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. What about the person who controls the Union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. 
We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don. But that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words! We'll just leave it at that then. Guess we can do this. Not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll. Take it in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. We'll destroy them in no time. Wonderful. Who's next? We're done. Oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you. Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? Ah! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny anymore! Should be any minute now. What did you do? You just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then BAM! Geez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. Alright. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. Okay, just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right.
Wow, Carol, when you freak out, you really freak out. Come on, everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage, it's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? Yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever. were that easy easy I don't know I didn't feel much of anything I wanted a little more action you know oh you're a fan of getting beaten to a pulp while struggling to beat some crazed giant monster ah uh, don't put it like that old man it's not struggling it's fun so much fun the best part about a battle is its raw challenge it's raw challenge huh I kind of like the way that sounds uh, sorry but I prefer to avoid the hard-fought battles they're rough on these old bones that makes it even more fun. How's that? That's for you to find out, old man. was easy. Sure. 
going bye bye. Flickering blaze burn. Yeah, the best defense. Oh. It's an ambush. We can still. It'll be a hundred years. You want revenge? Be Leave it to me! Just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey. I've heard that voice before. Patty! What? Is she a friend of yours? We've gotta help her! Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. He hit it! Yeah? So you're still looking for Eifried's treasure? Eifried? I! Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The Map Making Guild! World Seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's 100% believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're 100% fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Hey, behind you! <laughs> I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. It's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going.
this over with. You want revenge? Fireball! 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 Fireball!
That'll be a hundred years. This looks easy. Let's just get it over with. Yeah. I Guess we can do this. We'll strike. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh man. All right, all right. Huh, not bad. Priest of innocent waters. Let's work together. Okay, let's go. In Man, I wish we could get out of here already. Don't get so flustered, boy. We'll get out of here nice and easy, you'll see. Not everyone leads a carefree life of unicorns and rainbows like you, you know. Life is a lot like this forest. Winding paths, intertwining. Ah, this forest is really relaxing. Come on, let's leave our philosopher behind and get a move on. Listen to what I've got to say! So you mean we're lost in the forest of life? Oh, so you get what I'm saying. Before we find our way out of the forest of life, we need to find our way out of this one. I'll lead. I have found direction in this life more times than... Hey, wait! I'm not done yet! Let's get this over with. We'll destroy them in no time. Put out your hand. Guess we can do this. Purity. I got a Destroy them in no time. Yeah.
It'll be a hundred years. Oh. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. What's up? Up with the... This forest. I... I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. I hope we only have to kill this one. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. We're happy! The air is still out of control. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. What's up with this forest? I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. I hope we only have to kill this one. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. Splash! 
surprised. We're lucky. We're happy. Woohoo! The air is still out of control. Hooray! That's the trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. Let me see. How did you do that back there? You like slice through the air, but but that's impossible. What good would that knowledge do you? Well, I mean, with something like that, we might be able to stop the Blastia from going berserk. We saw that happen to a Blastia. The air was out of control. We couldn't do anything. This was only a distortion. It is a natural occurrence. Distortion? Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the air crane. Huh? What do you mean, air crane? This place? Air crane are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. Hm. We would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. Power. Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. Each other way too well. Oh, man. All right, all right. That was easy. This is my big
anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Carol, keep your head down! It's... it's them! Dawn! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off! What did you do? Yuri! It must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man. Do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Dawn and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica? And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing! More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? Oh, you can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm, ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing, mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. If you're so old, well, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my style.